What is going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. It's one o'clock. That means I'm off work and there's an estate sale. Let's go check it out. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Oof. 40 a piece. Colors, but twenty five bucks. Okay. Hi. I'll trade you places. <laughs> we'll swap. I'm look through these here. This is not bad. This itself is 20 bucks free shipping. But this for 10 bucks, it's 50%, so that'd be five today. That's a good deal. Not much in there. My grandma, great grandma, I think, used to have these. Bourbon. There's a Kessler though. I might get that for my buddy Jeff. I think we will. Brandy. No bourbon. Thank you. 
say nothing. Anything about glassware. That is. Yeesh. Time, time. Look what I found. I mean, come on. I gotta get that, right? Lots of rolls in here. Come on, Bill. Come here. You guys, we did well. Um, considering I was there for the last 45 minutes on the second day of a three-day estate sale. Yeah, we did well. Um, you know, no huge home run things, but considering most of the stuff I got today, I think maybe all the stuff I got today was 50% off. I think we did really, really well. And this estate dealer, uh, typically they tend to get the the better estates in the area and they're typically much more expensive than the other dealers in town. So it makes sense. There was a whole lot of stuff there, it sounds like. And it makes sense that, you know, their higher prices, it's gonna be left there on the second day. So I think we got some good stuff. I know we got some good stuff. We got some other stuff that uh, might be a little long tail, but I think is going to sell. All in all, we paid nineteen dollars and twenty five cents. We've got a couple items that ought to make that back straight away. So let's get going. I've got to go pick up my kiddo at school. We're going to do that, and then we'll get home, and I'll show you what we picked up. All right. So the kid has been picked, and turns out because she's awesome, she won a goodie bag. I did and. Tell everybody just why you won that goodie bag. Because well, every other Friday, yeah, for school they do like announcements, and one of them is you have they play like a bit of a song. So if you know, you have to know the title of the song, who sings it, and you have to sing like X lines. All right. And so today, the song that you knew was what? Teen Spirit by Nirvana. And then, so, like, they played, like, the clip, and it was, like, right after all of the hellos. So. Do you have to... lights off, it's less dangerous, and we all know that it takes us. Yeah, and then she's like, you got it! Here's a goodie bag. So, yeah, She knows Nirvana. It's parenting done right. <laughs> okay, guys, we are home. It's actually a little bit later in the evening. We've sat down watched The Mandalorian, had some Panda Express. Now it's time to check out what I got. And uh, you know what? We did pretty well. Let me show you the stuff. But first, before I show you the stuff, I think we've got video of me finding the old beer bottle. Now that's from the Kessler Brewery, Kessler Bottling. Uh, Kessler used to be here in town. It's an old brewery. It's not here anymore. That stuff's not made anymore. So it's pretty collectible, especially here in the area, especially in Montana. That stuff's pretty collectible, but even nationwide, Kessler has a bit of a following. I found that beer bottle, it was actually still sealed. Uh, three bucks, got it half off, so a buck fifty. That is a smoking deal, and I don't understand why it was still at the sale. 
Uh, Kessler stuff usually gets snatched up. I found a few pieces here and there, usually empty bottles. Uh, sometimes you find the boxes, stuff like that. Um, but my buddy Jeff, he collects Kessler brewery stuff. So I snatched that up. I actually dropped it off at his place on the way home and he was thrilled. Uh, he'd never seen one like that that was still sealed. So that was neat to be able to get something to him. He's helped me out so much. He's the one that got me started uh, in this reselling thing, and he continues to help us out. So uh, my friend, I'm glad to get that to you. I asked him just in terms of return on investment so we can understand. I spent nineteen twenty-five, including $1.50 on that. We want to understand how much we would get back, right? So I asked him, hey, if this was not going to you, if I was posting this, it'd have to be posted locally because it still had the beer in it. I wouldn't be able to sell it online and anything like that. I'd have to post it on Craigslist or something like that. Uh, he said it, the value there is probably about 50 bucks. So right there, we made our money back. You know, if, if we were keeping that, if we were selling it, because we paid $19.25 for everything. So we're already way in the profit. Uh, we're going to wipe that one off for our purposes, because obviously I gave that away. But if we were keeping that, if we were selling that, you know, already we've doubled our money. So we did really well today. We've got some other stuff back here I'm going to show you that's also pretty good. Let's look at it. Okay, so we'll start over here. I grabbed this out of the garage. Any kind of like refill pads for Windex, Swiffer, stuff like that. It actually sells pretty well, guys. So if you can get it for cheap, it might be worth it. Now, this is not a big ticket item. These right here, now there was a second pack. I would have picked it up, but it was actually opened and one of them was gone. So I thought, you know what? I don't want to deal with a half pack. We're just going to pick up the one sealed one. Um, we'd have done better if I could have paired the two of them together. But even as, as it is with this single, I think we ought to be able to get about... 10 or 15 bucks free shipping out of this thing and we paid it was half off everything ten dollars and under was half off everything over that was 25 percent, and everything we got was under so we got everything for half off so you know 25 cents into this we're going to make about uh you know let's just call it 10 bucks if i sell this for 14.99 free shipping you know call it 10 bucks for easy math half of what we spent is going to be right here I mean, how how easy is that? And then I found these. I think you saw me pick up another one, but it was a little bit rough. It was scuffed. These ones are in great shape. And uh, I like the look of these right here. These are the old uh, cigarette tins. There used to be 20 of them in there. This is actually made. Was it right there? Yeah, made in Germany, actually. Um, these are, it's going to take a while. Okay, these are not going to move quickly. And this one, again, we got these for 50 cents a piece. So we've got three of uh, of the girl here. We've got one of this. This is my favorite one right here. Um, I think this one is going to do well. Also, this one, probably the least valuable of the set. Uh, but, you know, I figure grabbing them all, might as well grab this one. We left uh, Joe playing pool. But, like I said, he was scuffed up. These are in great shape. So at 50 cents a piece... I think we did really well on here. Some little smalls that'll sell off here and there. And how simple is this going to be to ship off, right? Uh, then I went up and I looked at the media. Ren and Stimpy stuff sells very, very well. Um, I'm going to have to go through. I didn't go through and check the discs while I was there. We were getting a good enough deal on it. I didn't bother. So I will have to go through and make sure every, all, you know, all the discs are here and they're all in good shape and all that. Um, I think this is about $10 plus shipping right here. And the sell through on all the media that we picked up is really, really good. So some of this is not high dollar, but it's super quick. So we're going to make money and make money fast and media is so easy. So, uh, this one, and we paid a dollar for all of these. So this one, um, maybe 10 bucks plus shipping i think um this lawrence of arabia this is the blu-ray this doesn't sell for a lot it sells for like six seven eight bucks plus shipping not much right but again we got it half off we got it for a buck the sell through is really really good this one's actually interesting lucy lou i can't find this one on a, at least a really quick search i didn't find the blu-ray listed in uh in the u.s there's one sold comp of this and it came out of the UK. Somebody paid like 11 bucks or 12 bucks plus international shipping for this thing. So this could be pretty decent. You know, I, I might get 15 or 20 bucks out of this one. So I, I think this is actually a pretty solid pickup here. Now these 
All of these sell on their own. We got Bela Lugosi as Dracula, and then we got Boris Karloff, Frankenstein, and Boris Karloff, the mummy. Okay, so these are the old, uh, the the classic monsters, right? So these sell on their own. Dracula sells, Frankenstein sells, and the mummy sells, and all of them have a really good sell-through, so we'd make quick money. But what I think I want to do, and maybe that means it takes longer, but I think I want to put these together. I, I think I want to make a uh, a lot of three out of these, and rather than getting, you know, five, six, seven bucks a piece, we might be able to get 20 bucks for a set of three. The Roku, this was tagged four bucks. This is a generation three, and it comes with the power cord, and we get a pair of remotes here. This ought to sell, I believe, for in the neighborhood of 20 or 30 bucks, right thereabouts. So very, very easy and easy money and a really good sell-through rate. This ought to sell for about 15 or 20 bucks, I believe. This sells really, really well by itself. So I think I will probably sell this one by itself. And then we're going to sell this. This is the Epson XP440. Uh, this I, I typically don't deal with these things. I just don't want to mess with them. But you know what? It was tag 10 bucks, which means half off. So $5. They weren't going to give me the ink without it. So honestly, I, I could have bought this for $5 and still made easy money. So I might as well grab this also. And believe it or not, this photo, it's a photo printer. This actually has a very good sell-through rate as well. And I ought to get about $30 out of this. I believe I'll have to measure it, but my guess is that'll fit in the 12 by 12 USPS box. It's actually not that heavy. So these sell for, I believe about $30 plus shipping and they sell very, very well. So why not? We made money here as well. All right. How about this guy? I don't know. I actually just posted this as I'm uh, filming to the Reselling Resource Center on Facebook. Crowdsource this a little bit. I don't know what it is. And I was confused because we've got the hole on the top and we've got the mouth, right? And you would punch one hole making ceramics to release the heat when you fire it. But there's two. So I don't know if they just did that just for the look. But why would you put one in the top of the head? I don't understand. It's got to have a use, but there's also nowhere, there's not like a bottom cap that you would take out and put something in it. There is some writing there. I mean, obviously that's Asian of some kind, right? Is that Japanese? I don't know. That, for whatever reason, that looks like the way it should go. Does anybody know what that says? I guess I could try Google Translate or something, but I don't know if it would pick it up. There's definite crazing on here. That's what the cracking is called. That's underneath um, that's just from temperature and, and moisture variations and stuff over time. It's not great, but I didn't think it took away from the look of the piece. People like owls and I paid two bucks for it. Whether it was worth it or not, I don't know. This is the one that I took uh, a wild guess on. I just like the look. This, believe it or not, is one of the best pickups, you know, past the, uh, the beer bottle. This is going to make us our most money. And since we didn't keep the bottle of beer, it's going to be up to, if you guys don't know, let's look on the back. I'll show you. Uh, you can't see it because his mane's in the way. But this is Elmer. Um, keep an eye out for this, guys. Um, Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter, has talked about animals doing people things. There's actually a word for that. Anthropomorphic? Promorphic? Whatever. It's animals doing people things. Um, obviously, we got a horse playing baseball. If you don't know about this guy, look at the face. Memorize that face, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't know how often you guys see Montana silversmiths where you are, but it is collectible. This is a collectible figurine, guys, um, and we got it for a dollar. Even full price, that was worth it at two bucks. This is numbered. If you see something numbered, it's a good idea to take a look at it. You know, I mean, things that are limited, that are numbered, take a look. This is a low number. This is number 58 out of 705. This is Elmer. There's MS right there, Montana Silversmith. Um, this, there's only one listed, and it's listed for 50 bucks plus shipping. Um, so there's none, none sold in the last three months, but... That doesn't mean he won't sell. There is a market for this guy. So somebody's going to pick him up. Uh, I'll put some comps up here and show you Montana Silversmith, some other Elmers up there because there's lots of different situations that they put him in. And some of these sell for very high dollar. There's a cookie jar that sells for very good money. But some of these you can get $100 or more 
for these things. So a dollar in, and uh, if we put ours right about where that other guy is, we can expect about 40 or 50 bucks out. A lot of these will sell for 25, 30, 40 bucks really quickly. So good grab on Elmer. So ballpark, we're looking at 180, 185 bucks, something right about there. Uh, not bad off of a $19.25 investment. And again, if we'd have kept that Kessler bottle, that's another 50 bucks on top. So really we picked up more than $200 of stuff for 20 bucks. I'd say that's a pretty good investment there. Thanks for coming along, guys. I sure appreciate it. Like, subscribe, do all the things that you do. We're uh, right there, about 2,000 now when I'm recording this. We are uh, just a little bit away from that. So maybe by the time you see it, we've crept over 2,000. I appreciate every one of you. We'll see you next time. Bye.